Hello my beautiful badgers, Messi got it back again. This time I'm doing a multiplayer face-off. I'm going to make a single player game and I'm going to find out how we can turn it into a multiplayer game. Finding the easiest way to do so, either using pun, fishnet, mirror, reactor, super net code and possibly even Unity's own new one because let's just punish ourselves. Now to do that, I'm making Crazy Taxi for my kids. I've been meaning to make it for a long time, and they've called me up on it. Yes. So, uh, I could make a fancy grid system to detect how far you're going and where you are in the city. Instead, I just put six basic colliders on there, and I put this material just so I can see where we are as we're testing. And as we drive around, it'll, if I pop over here to the game view, this little sign will say the name of the district, and then... As you go to the next district, it will say the name of the other one, and then it will fade out. That's the plan. And to make my game, I've decided to use Messi's Ultimate Customization Kit, because it makes sense to use my own kit to make a game, wouldn't it? Uh, and there you go, my son came up with the names for the districts. There's more districts than we need. And also, we've got the different areas. So if I go here to, let's say, uh, infrastructure, I've got a parking garage. I'm, I'm slowly but surely adding all the buildings in. It's going to take some time. One of the cool things about playing about with Mark means I don't have to do much coding because I've made a load of helper scripts. I'm going to put some text inside this UI whenever we travel from one district to another. And here I've got a little camera script. It's one. And if I put here alpha zero, you see it disappears. Now we want it to appear and then fade out slowly with the text in. So first things, I'm going to create a event. It's going to be a string event. So I've got a messy coder, Mark events, create a string event. And I'm going to call this enter district and i can actually then store a string on there every time the event happens so to do that we're going to click all of our districts and add an enter trigger script and i'm going to click on the little plus and drag over my little script my little string event and then we're going to use invoke string event i'm going to put in the name of it here now this is a bit where i should really automatically pull that from mark but I'm being lazy and I'm not going to so instead I've just put them a b c d e f and I'm going to copy paste what names my son came up with for the different districts so a and b let's pause that so you know, don't have to sit there watching me copying and pasting and if you're wondering what this script is it's a very simple one all it's doing is checking a tag and I've pre-filled it with play you can change it to what you want it to be and when we actually go into this trigger this collider then we're going to play off whatever unity events we've got there easy isn't it lovely lovely jubbly now back into our little ui if i go to the welcome he's going to start listening for that so let's get out of there go to the messy coder mark events and string event listen i don't know why it doesn't come up with a nice little cool little picture what does the other ones do i'm going to drag in my event we're also going to put on here a couple of other little helpful scripts that i've made one of them is a fade a canvas i've got a fade object fade a canvas fade a canvas uh, the speed i'm going to put it to one so it's nice and slow and over here we're going to put the next one which is a little wait script there it is and i'm going to put that to no leave it at two seconds that's fine now i'll put an event here so after two seconds it's going to do something you know what let's change that to three i'm going to drag in my fade canvas here and i'm going to say fade canvas uh, start the fade canvas group and it's going to ask me what's the canvas group I want to fade and it's this one here now when my string event fires I want to do three different things so the first one is I want to change the text now at this point the canvas is still hidden so that's good so it's dynamic and it will grab whatever text is in my event next is that I want to set my canvas to one because I'm not fading it in fading out so canvas group alpha set it to one the last is i want to fire off this wait and go to wait and i'm going to start my timer if you're wondering what these look like they're very simple wait all that is is this like i'm stopping the coroutine because i am paranoid we're going to start a new coroutine good to the job and we're going to just wait for the number of seconds that we've set up here and then we're going to invoke our unity event and fade canvas and it's really simple it's basically saying are you less than zero then you know keep going until you're zero and then fade it out really basic 
Okay, and that's it. We're done. So we save it and pop inside? Yeah, let's. Here we go. We're in helicopter lane to begin with. Wonderful. It fades out. So that worked. We're driving around, driving around. We're going to cross over into Hitchford. Is it going to fade out? Yes, it is. And now we're going to keep on driving into House Lane. <laughs> oh, my word. And so I need to come up with better names for these. What's this one over here? Theo Square, the most important place in the village. Okay, there we go. Didn't have to do any coding and it all worked. Oh, we're in a dead end. So if you do like these videos and want to see more, click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below. I'm going to be doing more mug videos because eventually somebody's going to want to buy it and play with it. We, we might even stick it on the asset store if we're lucky. If you do like it, click it. Till next time. Whee! If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.